gonna buy the motorbike for me. Okay, let's look. What motorbike are we buying? Since you how? Uh, MSS. We don't call it that. American. Room, room, room. Drum. Drum, drum. Okay. We've been looking, we found one. So, we're getting it today. See, this is the one I was talking about. This is the scooter Grom. But it's just, it's the same thing, just scooter form. Same motor. Right here, this one. Hello again. So it was down to these two choices. It was down to between the monkey and the MSX, and pretty much everybody voted for the MSX. So. Start the paperwork. It's super easy to buy a motorbike. We're putting it on a card for 12 months. 1% interest. Very, very low. Depending on what card you have, some are zero. So, so we'll be able to pay it off in 12 payments. Total is 57 million. So for a brand new 2021. Yeah. The 2022s, neither of us like the new headlight. Yes, honey. You look great. Yeah, he's the one that helped me. Yeah, he was the guy that was with me. So this is the scooter version. It's all the way up, but... How much is the scoot scoot? 82. So it costs... Yeah. I think the MSX is better. This looks good too though, but I... But I think the MSX is better. And it's way more affordable for us. That's a lot of money for that. For the same bike. Literally. We'll take the new one for yeah. us. This okay. one just for showroom. Showroom model, okay. All right, so now the paperwork begins. It takes about half hour. I'll give you exact real-time things. Pretty much what happens is uh, they process your paperwork, they give you a sale, bill of sale. You come back and get your blue card a few days later, and it's pretty much done. They, they also furnish you with insurance. You don't get a temporary plate here like you do back in the States, but uh, you can just furnish your receipt when you're driving around until you get the plates. You'll have no problem doing that. Overall, we picked this dealership because they had very good customer service. This guy here was very helpful the first time. You'll see that footage tacked on to this footage at the end. So there's going to be like 20 extra minutes of me shopping without her and looking at different uh, groms and looking for them. So, yep. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope it gives you some insight on how buying a motorcycle works here and how efficient the process is. So, see you guys in a bit. All right, so now they're hooking up everything. They went and got a brand new one from the warehouse. They bought it over, they had me verify it was new, check the numbers, you, know, you can tell the chains never even moved. So now he's hooking up the battery, putting in the fuse. This thing's never been turned on except for at the factory when they tested it. That's generally how they do it here. Attaching a VIN number maybe. See now we got power, you just check the power. Oh. Check to see if there's spark. I don't think there's gas in it yet. It looks so cute. You know, the used ones were just not cheap enough. They were 45 to 48 million. So it didn't make any sense to. I just, and they were in too bad a shape. 
they had the mirrors missing the paint was chipped you know the exhaust had a leak on the one that was only supposedly three months old um, yeah for me it didn't make much sense to go with their used one and then that'll be the third owner trying to sell it if she tries to sell it which does have an effect on price you know for some reason she wants to get rid of this thing it'll have low mileage it'll be super taken care of because i'll be maintaining it and it'll be much more easier to sell than a third time like a used one would be and she's never had anything brand new so why not she's excited i'm excited so Get some R15s out here in my same bike, just in lay down fashion. This is the most interesting bike to me that they have here. They have an H2 here, by the way, but this ZX25R is one hell of a machine. It revs out to 15,000 RPM, <laughs> even higher than that. 17,000, I think, is the red line. 17.5, and it puts out a stout 45 horsepower out of 250 liter. Uh, motor so this thing would be absolutely awesome to have it's a little out of fat and broke's price range for the this year it's 202 million but i would love to have something like this to cruise around saigon and you know i'm not really going to be much of a tourer now on the other hand if i was going to do some touring my bike isn't made for it the mt15 just is not comfortable for long periods of time i would grab something like this honda here this Honda 150L, it's super affordable. Now this is the China um, manufactured one, so it's 66 million out the door. You really can't beat that price. It's pretty much the same price as her Grom, a little bit more expensive, a couple hundred more bucks. But this would be ideal. This is your ideal cruising around Vietnam if you're gonna be like an itchy boots or something. This is what you wanna get, something reliable, something like that. That's what I would recommend. You can fit a big bag on the back. You've already got a, a storage bar back there. You can comfortably ride with a passenger as well. So, look at that paint. You know, Grom's a good looking bike. They're fun to ride around on, so I think she'll really like it. Hopefully it doesn't rain on our inaugural outing with it. You never know. So of course they've got the great Ninja H2, I think it's uh, 1 billion 500 if I remember right, or it was 1 billion 200. I can't remember off the top of my head, but of course that would be super cool to have. But even if I was rich, I wouldn't waste that much overage fee. I think the 25R is pretty much priced right. I think they're about eight thousand dollars everywhere, so this would be a very, very cool bike to have. really really like it this in the 500 r cbr would be the two bikes i would choose from for, for upgrading for saigon riding if i had money i'm still fat and broke good customer service here they're figuring everything out right now so yeah i thought i'd give you that brief little tour on some other cool things they have here good customer service at this dealership too so once we finish the paperwork We'll then do our inaugural outing with a camera, hopefully. Right now it is definitely gonna rain, which really sucks. As you can see, rain is a coming hitherin. They've also got uh, the black 25R, which I think is atrocious with this, uh, this red and black paint scheme. If it was all black with a little bit of white, okay. And then they've got this terribly ugly blue scheme on the 400. And then you've got a ZX-10R here. I've had many a ZX-10s. Absolutely phenomenal bike. I mainly had ZX-10s and R1s. I have way more R1s than Kawasaki's. My first bike was a ZX-9, a 97 ZX-9. Fun little bike. I've had many bikes, I've been a motorcycle rider since I've been 16 years old. I got that ZX-9 when I was 16 like a madman. Never crashed that one. I crashed a few of the R1s riding around like a jack-off. Alright guys, we'll be back. 
trying to get first start up going. Fuel is just now getting to the engine. Should be able to go now. You can smell the gas. It smells like it's starting to flood it. Sounds like a fuse. Maybe a fuse or the fuel is turned off somewhere. Sounds like a fuse to me though. My guess is he will be checking the fuse box. Yes, as I ventured. Just checking the fuses in the battery. It might just need a little bit more battery power. The battery might be just a little weak. Might need a little jump. Yeah, it's the battery sounds a little whack to me. Okay. It's the battery for sure. Whoa, he's doing some crazy shit right now. <laughs> Don't know if I recommend that model. But I guess. Sounds flooded. 100% sounds flooded now. I should stop cranking on it unless there's a way to clear the clear the gas out by maybe holding the throttle open. A lot of newer bikes where you just hold the throttle, it'll clear out the flooding. Same with a car if you're on a manual car. A newer manual car. Pretty much from 2009 up. All right, we got it started off. Wow, that's fucking noisy. You think that's loud? Yes. I Wait. want to do silent on that. Wait until I put the exhaust on. Silent is off. All the power of a Grom 125. All right, guys, that's the video. Let me show you Winnie since it's her product. Well, I, I will sit on that. Okay. What's well, gonna? Bit different than mine. Everything's running good. Good to go. So we have to go to the fuel, right? To put the. They put enough gas in. So if I do like this, it will go now? No. Sure? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So what's to go now? I'll teach you how to drive later. Don't try. Very easy to wreck. <laughs> No, 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 no. All right, sign off. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed peace the- Peace out. Not on peace out quite yet. She's a little ahead of the game. The paperwork took about 35 minutes. Super easy. So see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Uh, Moto vlog incoming on this thing tomorrow. So see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty. Peace out. All right, we're at the dealer. Winnie is leaning towards the MSX. It's hot as shit in here. Huh? I said it's hot in here.
Yeah. What do we think, internet? Should Winnie get the MSX? Type one in the comment section for yes. Two for no. Well, where's there a monkey? And then, do they have the new cub here? Mun? Do they have the new cub? Uh, have him bring it out so you can. Yeah, somebody. And then there's the monkey, which I'm not a fan of, but whatever. MSX. That color is ugly as well. So we actually filmed here before, like a year and a half ago. They have much more inventory and much more staff because you know. Ooh, it's hot, man. Ooh, a fan hat. Inventory is a little less than what it was last year, but understandable. I think the white and the red is the best color. I don't like that orange, it's too busy. But if you. Orange. Are you colorblind? My love? Orange. Yeah, I know. Orange uh, is yellow. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Sure, sure, sure. Put the big boy in the middle here. You got a 400 Ninja. Which are going for about 159 million right now. If I was to get a bigger bike, it would be the CBR 500R, which goes for around 186 million. All right, so you guys let me know. We're not buying today. It's motorized when you move it, so you don't need it so to be. So when I'm parking, how can I adjust my bike? It's You'll be fine. Cool. All right, we'll be back. Xin <laughs> chào, what's up everybody? All right, we're trying to find my beautiful wife, Win, a Honda Grom. They're new, they're hard to find right now. So we're gonna take a look. As usual, if you like the video, you can smash the like button. If you hated it, dislike, uh, smash the dislike button a billion times. Here's an XLX 250, wouldn't be bad to have. If you want to comment you can comment and of course subscribing is the best way to film my little help my little channel grow so i have filmed in here before so yeah we're here for just the grom so let's see well they got a bunch more bikes now i don't think this was all done when i was here Xin chào. oh they got a monkey too I'm here for the monkey in the ground. Okay. Yeah. Brand new? New? Yeah, brand new. Mm. What year? Well, uh, 2020, 2021? CC. Yeah, but what, what year? Hold on. That's right. <laughs> he has no, it's okay. He shouldn't know either. Uh, let me do my translate thing. It's 55 million. 2020, okay. And how much is the monkey? 88 million for the monkey. Me in Taiwan. And what year is this one? 2020 as well, okay.
Let's see what else they have. How much is this? Two hundred and twelve million. Okay, got it. So this is two hundred and twelve million for the CB three fifty Honda. Yeah, twenty twenty one. This one is. Okay. India. Well, the India one. Okay. And the Yamaha. Yeah, uh, it is a. Uh, hmm. CC. One hundred and fifty. And what year is this? 2021? Gotcha, 2021. And then how much is the Rebel? 122 million. Very, very good. Yeah. So this 300 is a, cc? Yeah, 300 cc. This is a popular expat bike. Lots of expats have these. Suzuki Intruder, what else do we have? Another Rebel. Same. Yeah, same, same. Don't need that. Let's take a look. So these are both the bikes she wants. I don't know if the specific color. I like this red and white. The price isn't bad. I mean, that would work. 1000 RR. Let's see if they have the 400. Yeah. Do you have the 400? The, the 400? 400. RR. Let's see. Oh, this one. How much is the 400? One seventy-two. Okay, one hundred seventy-two million. And is this uh, Thailand or Thailand? Thailand. Okay. And then the two, the twenty-five R, the two fifty. Two oh seven. And that is Thailand as well. Uh, okay, yes. Thailand as well. Colors. Colors. Gotcha. This isn't a bad deal for the four hundred. This color is ugly though. I wouldn't be caught dead in this color. And what year is this? Twenty twenty one. 2021, gotcha. Let's take a look. And then how much is the H2? <laughs> 1 billion, 29 million, gotcha. So that's one, no paper. yeah, 1.3 billion. So roughly around $50,000, $45,000. How much is the ZX10? 729 million for a ZX10. No yeah. And does it come with all the upgrades? Come with it? No, just come with it? Come factory? Yeah. All right, extra price. It's okay. It's okay. It's probably, they usually charge you extra. And how much is the 900 RS? 440 million for a Z9. Gotcha. Here. And then how much is the 250? 157, that's not bad at all. It's actually a good deal. KOX? Yeah, KLX. This would be good if, this is what I would choose if I was cruising around the country probably. Because there's lots of muddy roads if you really want to go exploring. And then how much is the 650Z? 205, so that's not bad either. Okay. Let me go take a look at all this stuff. I'll be back, guys. But showed you so far. Definitely cool that you can get an H2 here. Um, what year is the H2? 2020? 2021. Okay. So it's, it's the new model. Carbon. Yeah. H2 Carbon. H2 Carbon. All right, I'll be back.